Light of wavelength 500 nanometers is passed through a diffraction grating which has 400 lines per millimeter. We want to work out the angular separation between the two second order maxima. So we have wavelength 500 10 to the minus 9. We have a diffraction grating, so we're going to be using the equation, or we're likely going to be using the equation, n lambda is d sine theta. We have the number of lines per millimeter, I'll call that n. So that's 400 lines per millimeter. We're trying to work out the angular separation. So we're trying to work out a value of theta between the two second order maxima. So n is two. Now it wouldn't just simply be a case of working out what theta is because theta would give you the angle between the second order maxima and the zeroth order maximum. So the second order maximum and the perpendicular to the grating. But we want to work out the angle between the two second order maxima, which is a bit different. We'll get to how that works in a sec. We do need to work out theta from this equation. Before we can do that, we have to work out what d is. d is equal to 1 over n. So if we were to do 1 over 400 lines per millimeter, this gives us 2.5 times 10 to the minus 3. And that will be in millimeters as well. So this is the distance between adjacent slits in millimeters. Convert to meters, so divide by a thousand, 2.5, 10 to the minus 6 meters. Now we can work out what theta is. Sine theta is n lambda over d, or 2 times 500, 10 to the minus 9, all over d. And that gives us 0 0.4. So inverse sine of 0 0.4 is 23.58. Okay, so what does this angle represent? Let's say here is our diffraction grating, and here is our screen. So this is the central maximum. So that's n is equal to 0. And let's say that here is n is equal to 2. So we've just worked out what this angle here is. We want the angle between the two second order maxima. So the second second order maxima would be on this side, symmetrically placed around n equals zero. And this angle would be exactly the same. They'd both be equal to 23.58. And so to work out the angle that we need, the angle between the two second order maxima, that's just this entire angle here which would be two lots of the 23.58, which is 47.2 degrees, and therefore our answer is D.